ladies and gentlemen, do not adjust that set. It is I, Ocho, once again here for Candid at the Movies. You know, I'm still being held hostage and I'm still begging for y'all help. If nobody wants to help me, please. Anyway, since I'm stuck here anyway, for the time being, I'm going to try to prevent you, present you, I mean, my bad, with the hidden gem. The movie I like that came back out in 1993. Uh, one of your typical kind of comedy, little bit of romance, drama kind of movies called Airborne, starring Shane McDermott and also starring Brittany Powell. This movie is one of those coming of age high school movies, um, somewhat. And it also has a cast of young actors in their younger days that you might recognize names that I'll list off. A very young Seth Green uh, from Fame of Robot Chicken, of course. We also have Chris Conrad from The Next Karate Kid and less memorably, the second Johnny Cage in Mortal Kombat Annihilation because you know, he died in the credits, pretty much. Uh, we also have a young Jack Black. Uh, everybody knows Jack Black. And we also have Jacob Vargas, who you might not know the name right there offhand, but he's starred in Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion, but more so is known as Joker from Next Friday. Uh, this movie is very good. It stars Shane McDermott. He's, um, you know, goes by the name Goose, named Mitchell Goosen. Lives in, he's a California surfer kid. Best way for me to describe it. If you've ever seen California Dreams and you've seen Kelly Packard's character, he's basically the male version of Kelly Packard's character, to best explain it. His parents get this offer to go travel to Australia, but instead of taking them him with them, they send him to stay with his cousin, who was Seth Green, in Cincinnati, Ohio, to finish out his schooling. And of course, he has a hard time adjusting him being a California surfer kid, living in Ohio, gets picked on by some of the kids and for being different, like uh, Chris Conrad's character, Jack, uh, Jack Black's character, you know, give him a hard time, but of course, like any kind of, you know, teenage movie, they gotta go through a period to adjust until they prove themselves to be cool with all the kids and everything. Uh, basically, they end up trying to give him a hard time because he's just got that surfer mentality, everything's cool, laid back, until he meets Brittany Powell's character, who he falls for. Turns out that's Chris Conrad's character's sister, who, which he finds out later in the movie. During this time, he has conflicts, not only with the other students there, but a group of kids called known as the Preps, who are rivals with the other kids and basically it just sort of just goes through your typical 90s plot where he's got to try to overcome you know what i'm saying realize some things are worth fighting for and being different isn't a bad thing but it's a movie that i actually enjoyed uh it has good amounts of comedy in it good action sequences featuring the skating which is actually really entertaining they have a big climactic showdown with the preps which is a big skate off through the city some great skating sequences through that uh, one of my hidden gems, one of my favorite movies, a like guilty pleasure movie, if you will, for me. Uh, if you can find it anywhere on streaming or online, I would definitely recommend you check it out. Feel like you'll enjoy it, get a couple of laughs. Plus, seeing young Jack Black, young Seth Green, uh, young Jacob Vargas, all of them, I think you can get a kick out of it. But once again, like I said, let us know. Comment, like, subscribe, let us know what you think. This is Ocho from Candidate at the Movies. Have a good one.